Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News Line and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Mega Infrastructure Push in Chhattisgarh, PM Modi unveils various projects. Indian court rejects Rahul Gandhi's plea to suspend defamation conviction. And Afghans react to Taliban ban on beauty salons. And now for all the details. In a major push for infrastructure development, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday laid the foundation stone of various projects worth over Rs. 7,000 crore in Chhattisgarh state. The projects include five national highway projects, the doubling of railway lines and a new rail route. The Prime Minister also initiated the distribution of 75 lakh cards to the beneficiaries under the Ayushman Bharat scheme. He emphasized that the delay in the development of any given region is directly related to the lack of infrastructure. Later in the day, he also held a rally in Raipur, setting the tone for the assembly election later this year in Chhattisgarh, where the Congress party is in power. Infrastructure, yani logo ke jivan mein aasani, infrastructure yani vyapar karobar mein aasani, Infrastructure yani rojgar ke lakho naye avsaron ka nirman aur infrastructure yani tej vikas. The High Court in India's Gujarat rejected an appeal by opposition Congress party leader Rahul Gandhi on Friday to suspend his conviction in a defamation case, quashing for now his hope of returning to parliament and contesting national elections due next year. Gandhi was convicted last month in a case brought by a state lawmaker from the ruling BJP over his comment in a speech during the 2019 election campaign that were deemed to be insulting to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other people surnamed Modi. Rahul Gandhi was sentenced to two years imprisonment but the jail term was put on hold and he was given bail. Congress workers held protest over the latest court ruling. Rahul Gandhi is a fierce Modi critic and his main challenger in the 2024 polls. But he risks losing his eligibility to run in elections for the next eight years if a court does not overturn his conviction. And India has slammed the move by the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague to reject its objections to a Pakistan-initiated procedure over water use in the Indus River Basin. India's foreign ministry has called the arbitration proceeding illegal as a neutral expert was also looking at the issue and the World Bank broker treaty prohibits parallel proceedings. The neighbours have been arguing over hydroelectric projects on the shared Indus River and its tributaries for decades with Pakistan complaining that India's planned hydropower dams in upstream areas will cut flows on the river which feeds 80% of its irrigated agriculture. India has said it will boycott the Hague court proceedings, questioning its competence. And I don't think, um, you know, legal sophistry uh, of, or due process or f uh, facade is not going to uh, compel India to participate in what we think are patently illegal uh, proceeding instituted in contravention of the treaty, that is the PCA. The International Monetary Fund is seeking support of Pakistan's political parties, including former PM Imran Khan's PTI party, for a recently announced $3 billion bailout program, IMF official Esther Perez Ruiz said on Friday. PTI leader Hamad Azhar confirmed the development on Twitter. Ruiz said the meetings were to seek assurances of support for the key objectives and policies under the new IMF-supported program ahead of national elections. Crisis hit Pakistan is scheduled to hold national elections by early November. The new bailout program is going to be taken up by the lenders board on July 12. Moving on, as Taliban has banned beauty parlors across Afghanistan in a latest decree, people in the country have raised concerns over growing restrictions on women. A report. Days after the Taliban issued a decree and banned women's beauty salons across Afghanistan, several people have raised concern and urged for rescinding the order. 
more than 60,000 women in the country are at risk of losing their jobs as the beauty parlors must shut within a month. The Islamic Emirate has already banned girls and women from going to schools and universities and working at NGOs as well as going to public areas such as parks, cinemas and other recreation areas. دولت اسلامی ما و شما امارات ایرا باید خودشان بفهمند بعض خانم ها سینه میال ناناور خانه ندارند به وضاحت هستند مثلا مرد سرپرست ندارند خود خانم ها مجبور هستند کار کنند وظیفه کنند بعضشان دکان های آرایشگری دارند مجبور هستند کار کنند دیگه از این نگاه ما هیچ نمی بینم که باید یا بسته شوند Western governments and international organizations have signaled the restrictions on women are hampering any possible progress to international recognition for the Taliban administration. The Taliban says it respects women's rights in accordance with its interpretation of Islamic law and Afghan customs. And the political parties of the ruling coalition have come out in defense of PM Pushpa Kamal Dehel, who has become the target of opposition parties over his alleged remarks that an Indian businessman put in a word for him in Delhi to have him appointed as the Prime Minister. The Kathmandu Post reported that top leaders of ruling alliance held a meeting and decided that the PM would face the parliament rather than resign from his post. Earlier this week, the main opposition, CP and UML, created a ruckus in parliament to demand the health's resignation, saying that his remarks had undermined Nepal's dignity. PM Dahel has said his words are being misinterpreted. Moving on, parts of India are bearing the brunt of inflation as vegetable prices have skyrocketed owing to the double-edged sword of crop damage and supply chain disruptions as the heavy rains lashed several regions in the country. Vegetable vendors who sold tomatoes at around $1 per kg on Thursday, which is almost a five-time surge from the usual rate, predicted the cost to remain high all month. Along with tomatoes, the cost of other vegetables has also shot up, compelling people to resort to buying from the farmer's market rather than retail stores. पूरी जुलाई टमाटर तेज रहेगा सब जगह बरसाते हो रही है पीछे फसल का उत्पादन जो है बहुत कम हो रहा है उम्र के हिसाब से देखे सत्तर साल की उम्र है महंगाई की वजह से हम मंडी में आए टमाटर लेने और जो ये चाइना खीरा था तीस चालीस मिलता था या मंडी में पचास वहाँ पे सत्तर बोल रहे तो अपना थोड़ा बजट देख के जब यो करना पड़ता है नहीं तो क्या जरूरी है कि वर्षों में धक्का खा the Indian Weather Department has predicted isolated heavy rainfall in the northern and northwestern parts of India over the next five days. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.